My girlfriend's obsessed with Disney stuff. And every time I'm dragged into that store, I look for one thing. A reference to a certain movie that Disney would rather you forgot. You'll find Marvel and Star Wars and Pixar and all the Disney classics. But every time I go in that store, it's never to be found. Even on a trip to Disney World when I was in fifth grade, not one sign of this movie. The only reference at all was hiding in the back of a poster of Disney villains. Sort of like this picture I found on the internet. Of course I'm talking about the infamous Black Cauldron, Disney's biggest flop that cost the company millions. Released in 1985, it was loosely based on the second in a series of young adult books, The Chronicles of Prydain. The film saw numerous changes in leadership and direction, as well as countless revisions and edits over its tumultuous five-year production. The final result is admittedly kind of mediocre. It's a shame, too, because some of the detail in these environments is incredible. They simply do not make movies like this anymore. The story feels disjointed. At times it goes for a lighthearted adventure, at others it alludes to the source material's distrust of hero worship. There's even blood in a Disney movie. Originally, there was an extended scene of the villain's undead army basically dissolving into goo, but it was cut for being too awesome, I guess. Which brings me to the Horned King, the coolest Disney villain of all time, with the possible exception of Chernabog. Just look at this guy. He's terrifying. So, now that that's out of the way, let's boot up the game. Yeah, it's MS-DOS. I hate this. As you can tell, the music is, uh... Yeah, at least it's brief. This is a Sierra-developed adventure game, apparently dumbed down for a younger audience. Dumbed down or not, I've just never been good at these things. I don't think I've ever finished one without a guide. You play as assistant pig keeper, Terran, who's on a journey to protect his, uh... magical, oracular pig, Henwin, from the Horned King who wants to use him to find the titular Black Cauldron to raise an army of undead soldiers. I'm sure it makes more sense in the book. The game is relatively open with multiple ways of completing certain goals. For instance, you can follow the plot of the movie, or instead you could, you know, be a competent pig keeper and actually get Henwin to his destination without being captured. Which does sort of break the story's logic, I suppose. Why am I raiding the Horned King's castle if not to save Henwin? The world map isn't very big. Four or five screens in any direction will take you back to where you started. But the castle itself is pretty expansive. My biggest gripe is some of these, I guess you could call them platforming sections. Jumping across these rocks, climbing up this wall, and this fucking rope. This rope might as well be the final boss. I didn't understand the concept of saving and loading when I was five, and, and this rope was the end of many an adventure. Seriously. Even with liberal safe scumming, this rope takes me forever to get past. It cannot be this hard to climb a rope. The worst part? You have to climb back down when you escape the castle. And back up again at the end of the game. And this goose won't stop harassing me. Like all these old Sierra games, everything kills you. Touching a swamp. Falling off a cliff. Starving to death in an hour eaten by alligators, and this rope, Ugh! There are a few different endings, but the best one here kind of betrays the whole point of the story with Terran apparently becoming an immortal warrior. I've still got the original manual. It's got some great art in it, but it's kind of falling apart. I've got the original map too, but I apparently drew on it like a jackass. So I can't imagine any but the most diehard adventure fans are going to want to pick this up. Really, it only holds a special place in my heart for being one of the first games I ever played. 
I'm not even sure how rare a physical copy is at this point. I do want to recommend people give the movie a shot though. It's aged surprisingly well, and maybe if it sells enough copies, one day I'll see a Horn King plushie next to all these frozen dolls.